can mow the lawn at the same time. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
was originally originally cast and brought down for the shoot.
Pray silence for our speeches to celebrate the bicentenary of Chepstow Bridge. John Erpeth Lostrick, the designer and builder of this bridge 200 years ago, is not with us today, but in his place, the most senior engineer in the land, the president of the Institute of Civil Engineers, Sir John Armit. Pray silence for the president of the Institute of Engineers, Sir John Armit. Please join me on the stage. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and can I say what a pleasure it is to be here with you today, celebrating at the very moment, at the very spot, that this bridge was opened and handed over by John Rastrick to the people of Chepstow and to the magistrates, today we call them the councillors, who would take possession of the bridge from that designer and builder, John Erpeth Rastrick. His design was based on a lot of the work done by a leading engineer of those days, Thomas Telford. Thomas Telford was to become the first president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, which was founded just two years later, so we'll be celebrating its 200th anniversary in a couple of years' time. Interestingly, the first designer of the bridge proposed here was another famous engineer called John Rennie. John Rennie's design was going to cost some £40,000, which was considered too expensive at the time. So John Rastrick was asked to have a look and come up with a design, and he came up with a design which was estimated to cost £17,000. So I'm sure that in today's world, John Rastrick, as he was then, would be extremely popular with those who were going to have to pay for the bridge. He then went back to the other love of his life, which was designing steam locomotives for the new railways which were running around the country. The first intercity railway was between Manchester and Liverpool. And a competition was held to decide at Raynham which locomotive should be the locomotive to pull those first trains between Liverpool and Manchester. And John Rastrick was a member of the party which had to decide the winning locomotive. The winning locomotive, of course, was uh, Stevenson's rocket. After that, Rastrick went back to designing more railways, not only in this country, but around the world, and cementing his reputation as one of the leading engineers of his time. It's interesting that he copied and uh, used some of the designs and ideas of Thomas Telford. Today, the institution sees one of its key roles as being the spreading of knowledge and learning from one engineer to another. Indeed, it is, I would argue, the principal role of us as engineers is to pass on our knowledge to our colleagues, learn from our colleagues, and hopefully provide better engineering solutions for society. As an engineer, I have to say that a bridge is one of the most visible forms in which infrastructure can be seen by the people. So often we don't see the work of engineers. Bridges are a fantastic way to see the work of engineers. And bridges, of course, link communities. They provide the opportunity for businesses to uh, exchange their goods and services. And of course, in this particular location, they link the two countries as well. So a wonderful uh, way in which to demonstrate the art of engineering. And today, I'm sure we all feel very grateful to John Erpis Rastrick, his work and what he did, and what he passed down to future generations, a great example of engineering. Thank you very much. So pray silence for the chairman of Gloucestershire County Council, Councillor Colin Hay.
a bridge is vital in terms of actual communications between the two people. But we use the term in other ways, a bridge between communities. And that's really important. And these bridges, tunnels, links, are so important. Whenever a new one is open, there's always a fanfare. They are so important to communications to people. I'm trying to think of modern-day equivalents. They're airports of today, a bridge. They, they bring communities together. This was a stunning achievement of the time. It's still stunning. The bridge we are now standing on today was built by the Bristol firm of Hazeltine and Rustic and a few five beautiful arches were cast 200 years ago at the foundry in Bridge North and Shropshire. <coughs> Great silence for the mayor of the town of Bridge North, Councillor Vanessa Voicing. Thank you very much, and thank you to the Mayor of Chepstow for the invite today and for the warmth of the welcome that we've all had. Of the town of Chepstow, Councillor Paul Pavia. 200 years ago on this very spot, with three cheers for the bridge, <coughs> its builders, its bicentenary, and its long future.
Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Chepso Singing Club.